Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Radar's Gravel Diaries, which are all about the fun gravelly adventures we like to get up to here at Bike Radar. Today we're in the New Forest and we're here with Pat, who is from the New Forest Off-Road Club. So Pat, do you want to tell us a bit about what the New Forest Off-Road Club is? Yeah, we're a group of riders who decided to get together and create an inclusive uh, riding club that's about uh, smiles, not miles. Uh, New Forest is a perfect place for this because uh, the riding is uh, really nice. Uh, gravel tracks are uh, easy to ride on, uh, great to introduce people to off-road riding. It's right, it's a club we've really admired from afar and in today's video we're going to get to know the club a little bit better. We sat down with them earlier this year and we're going to jump to that in the moment. But for now, Pat, today you're going to show us around the beautiful forest you call your home. What do you have in store for us today? Uh, so today we're riding on the uh, east side of the New Forest. Uh, so we're leaving from Ashurst. Uh, we'll stop off at Hatchet Pond and then we're going to head back up uh, to Ashurst, a uh, slightly different route. Uh, so yeah, we're doing a loop. All right, uh, that sounds like it's going to be loads of fun, but it's very cold right now. So we are going to get on our bikes and get going. So my name's Nick and I am one of the ride leaders of the New Forest Off-Road Club. We are a women and non-binary led community based in the New Forest in Hampshire. We build confidence and community on two wheels by leading group rides, running mechanic classes and online events. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm one of the ride leaders and I started with the club pretty much at the beginning of, of the club setting up. We try and put some diversity into our ride leaders and I'm here to represent age diversity and in particular to encourage the older woman to get out and cycle. And that's what's been particularly pleasing to see is that age range that we attract in terms of our rides. So I'm Meredith Seddon. I'm one of the ride leaders um, with New Forest Off-Road Club. What that means is I help facilitate rides in and around the New Forest as part of New Forest Off-Road Club. So I'd sort of come from road cycling, um, had some not great experiences on the road particularly like being a fat woman I experienced a lot of like people yelling at me on my bike saying I shouldn't be wearing like Chris I didn't really feel safe riding my road bike anymore um, and my partner sort of said to me oh you should think about getting into gravel riding like you'd feel really safe there's no one around so yeah I did I bought a gravel bike and I think I joined um, joined a new forest off-road club ride back in October and was just like amazed that such a community existed like the fact that it didn't matter what you wore it didn't matter what bike you were on it didn't matter how fit you are it was just a group of people coming together like who love bikes who really want to ride bikes who want to ride bikes like in a very community focused way not in a sort of like who's going to get to the top of the hill fastest um so yeah and i've never looked back it's changed my life beautiful area What do we just see then, Jack? So lots of deer. Lots of deer, <laughs> the horses. Who knows what else we're going to see? How exciting! <laughs> Back in September 2020, I was at Brother in the Wild. We did the Saturday, it was just Jay and I. So we cycled around the Purbex, had a brilliant time. The route was fantastic. And on the Sunday, Jay was like, oh, there's a bunch of people riding out to today. Do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, are there any women there? And he said no. And I was like, oh, you go you go and have a great time. He went off and then came back like five minutes later and was like, Nick, everyone's really hung over. I think you'll be all right. You should come. <laughs> you'll be able to keep up. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I rode out with the group of people and I had the best time. It was so much fun. Yeah, the bunch of people that I was riding with were so friendly, curious, interesting, interested. And at the end of the day, I thanked everyone for letting me come with them. <laughs> um, and I was like, this was great. Like, where can I do this, but with women? And Tom, who's uh, one of the um, owners of the Woods Cyclery, just started a WhatsApp group, put six women in it and a route and said, if you come, I'll give you coffee. So we all went on this bike ride, just the six of us. We all got to know each other. Yeah, I just thought this is brilliant. I want to do more of it. 
And two months down the line, we'd done a group ride every Sunday and just more and more people showed up. And then we were just like, this feels like it might be significant and we'll do this, maybe create a space that people are saying doesn't really exist in other places. That's what we did. That's the new Forest Off Road Club, really. One of the huge success stories of the club is the momentum that it's created in more and more people hearing about us and and then coming to join us. Pretty much every weekend I'm riding, out riding my bike and like through the club have met amazing people like gotten really into bike packing. So there's a group of us who we're trying to do like one weekend bike packing every month. So normally every month there's some sort of trip going on. We're going all over the country to the lakes, Isle of Wight, just riding our bikes and having a really good time and really focusing on like the community adventure elements of riding riding bikes, which is really exciting. Oh, this is so nice. What do you think about these pigs, Jack? Think what they think about me. Oh my God, he's coming over. Come on. Ooh, you're gonna munch me. Hi, mate. Oh, what a lovely ass. <laughs> what fun! <laughs> the New Forest has, uh, I think, over 100 miles of gravel tracks um, that you can cycle on, which is like amazing. You know, a lot of people talk about um, the UK but just being like muddy bridleways for most of the year, but the New Forest is absolutely incredible. And we can do like short three mile rides, 10 mile rides, 100 mile rides, um, all within the parameter of the New Forest, which feels really good. The beauty of the forest is that mixed landscape and some of our best rides are the ones that will go through the enclosures where you're going through deciduous woodland and then you come out to clearings like this um, and you see the lawns and, and the grass areas and then some of the tracks will take you over the wetland and the bogland which is another feature of the forest. The other thing that's really special about the new forest is the wildlife. There are like thousands of ponies and donkeys and um, everything from pigs and cows who live in here as well as just like the amazing flora and fauna so it's just really nice to be able to be like you know you can do rides that are really long here without ever touching tarmac seeing amazing nature. Hey, I forget how bad this gets here. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Look at that one. It's yawning. So many horses. Uh, we at New Forest Off Road Club are um, women and non-binary led. Um, that means that anyone is welcome on our rides, but all of our ride leaders are women and non-binary led. So um, we're really passionate about creating a community where people can uplift themselves out of the patriarchy. So that awareness that a lot of the cycling industry is very much set up to serve a specific demographic. Um, and that actually we wanted to be a place where people who aren't traditionally served um, by the bike industry could come and cycle. Like one of the challenges I have as a fat person is I think there's one brand in the UK that makes my size of bibs, which is obviously a bit of a challenge and a bit of a road blocker for getting me out on the bike. So we just really wanted to be a place where like, if you don't fit in anywhere else in cycling, like this is the place for you. Um, so yeah, in a way we are kind of a bunch of misfits who just love riding our bikes together. We run online workshops called How to Dismantle the Patriarchy, one group ride at a time. Hopefully a helpful resource to help people establish their own group or community. There are people that want to ride bikes every weekend, that want to camp out. It's just a case of finding them and connecting until there's a group ride every night of the week. There's work to do and like there's communities that can start and like networks that can start up. The other thing, you know, that the beauty that brings is like everyone is on a different bike. Like I have quite a like a slack mountain bikey, like quite modern looking bike, but we have people riding, you know, 30, 40 year old steel frames that are still going. Like I think that's really special as well about creating a community where it's literally for everyone. Really early doors, I was like, oh, I think people think that they need to wear like cycling specific clothes to join us and they don't. So we just crowdsource some images of people riding bikes not in lycra and it just landed really well like loads of people liked it and loads of people commented and was like this is what it's all about and i was like oh i just thought we were saying like the obvious that you can ride in anything and like you know like i love riding in a dress and cycling in sandals i know loads of people do are you on two wheels yeah okay sound that's all that matters <laughs> Oh, 
literally two years ago, I would like watch people on Instagram going on like cool bike adventures and wishing that I had someone like that to do stuff with. Um, and the same, like I dreamt of camping outside in the woods and I'd only ever done it with my boyfriend and his friends before, but doing it with a bunch of women just feels so different. And you're like, you feel so powerful and connected with the earth and safe. Um, and you're just doing it with all of these women that want to do exactly the same thing. So that's felt significant. Women and non-binary people and trans people have been out here riding bikes for a really long time and we're just starting to be recognized. So one of the things that I think is great about New Forest Off Road Club is like, we really celebrate that. And we we celebrate the women who are out there doing amazing things um, who maybe haven't been recognized in the past as well. Yeah, we are where we are now. So we've um, actually just led our 300th ride. We're pretty excited to see where we're, where we're gonna go and what we're gonna do next. But ultimately just like delicately, gently cycling around the forest feels good at the moment. So Pat, put the shoot off, but thank you very, very much for showing us around. We had loads of fun, beautiful part of the world, and I promise we will be back. Yeah, great ride, thank you so much. Yeah, it's lovely to have you along. Yeah, definitely come back. Yeah, we will do. Come up and ride in the salmon, give you a different experience again. <laughs> we are, we've made it back. We are back where we started and we've had a wonderful ride. We really, really did, like genuinely, what a stunning part of the world. And for the UK to have like, real long dry pleasant gravel even in the winter such a treat yeah really beautiful and we saw so many animals it was uh really felt like some like disney fairy tale it was wonderful <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much to pat for showing us around we had a great time and we loved getting to know more about the club it's great to see this club flourishing and really promoting diversity and inclusion for all riders if you want to keep up to date with what the new Forest Off-Road Club are up to, you can check them out on Instagram and they also have a Komoot community and we've linked to both of those in the video description. We'd also like to say thank you to Genesis for sponsoring this video. Um, great bikes, we've loved riding them. If you want to keep up to date with all of these videos, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon so every time we upload one of these videos, you'll get a notification.